The Civil War itself is complicated. The men who fought the Civil War were complicated. There were several open racists in the North. There were several people in the South, including Robert E. Lee, who didn't have slaves, who thought slavery was awful. It's complicated. But we don't like complicated. We as human beings don't like it. You and I have had this talk several times before. We want everything simple, cut and dry. Good versus evil. Good, bad, saint, devil. History doesn't work that way. Are you all good or all bad? I would point out myself, but I'm a bad example because I am all bad. But most people, for the most part, they're good and they're bad. Conflicts, for the most part, are good and they're bad. Understand that the Civil War, wherever you fall on it, whether you're a history nut and love it, whether you just hit the high points, it doesn't matter. It is a huge, huge part of American history. Don't eliminate it. Talk about it. Have extensive discussions about it. I sit and watch Civil War documentaries with my sons about it, even though they yell and scream and say it's boring. I tell them, shut up and sit there. We're learning. Discuss history. Don't eliminate history. Now, Mississippi. This is the current Mississippi flag. Look at this. Obviously, you see the old Confederate flag in there. There is a new design proposed, and this is what the new design looks like. Okay. Here's the thing. I don't have an issue with that, a big issue, except here's the, here's the only issue I have with it. It's leading to other things. It's leading people to believe that they should eliminate the history of the South. Um, have you guys ever been to the South? I've spent a lot of time in the South. Granted, I've spent a lot of time all over the place. They're wide open to talking about the scourge of slavery, about the Civil War. You can both talk about it, think slavery is bad, and learn. And no, we don't have to rename our bases. Army Secretary open to renaming military bases named after Confederate generals? What is that? What is that? Again. It's easy, in hindsight, to point a finger at all these men and say, you racist! Uh, A lot of these guys were some of the finest generals who existed in the history of mankind. Brave men. Yeah, fighting on behalf of a cause that is not a good one, but still, brave men who went out there and did it. Did you do it? What have you done? I see this endless criticism out there of the South and things happening in the South and things that happen in the Confederacy. They put on a uniform and they fought. That's worth something, right? As Americans. Donald Trump, to his credit, came out and said, it's been suggested we should rename as many as 10 of our legendary military bases, such as Fort Bragg in North Carolina, Fort Hood in Texas, Fort Benning in Georgia, etc., These monumental and very powerful bases have become part of a great American heritage and a history of winning, victory, and freedom. The United States of America trained and deployed our heroes on these hallowed grounds and won two world wars. Therefore, my administration will not even consider the renaming of these magnificent and fabled military installations. Our history as the greatest nation in the world will not be tampered tampered with. Respect our military. We cannot eliminate our history. We cannot rewrite it, nor should we even consider doing so. Confront it, discuss it, as you should with all problems. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me, like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.